Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. My needle drops. And it's time for a review. The Faceless Auto Theism. A little bit of metal. Wow, dude, dude. Light too. Um, yeah. The Faceless is a technical, melodic, and pretty progressive death metal band from California. This is their third full-length album. It's been about four years since the band released their last LP, Planetary Duality, and for a lot of fans, it has been worth the weight merely because of the amount of progression that this band has shown on this new LP. Now, LPs like Planetary Duality are just nothing but straight up proficient brutality. Clean production with no room for, for errors or muddiness, some amazing drumming to back it all up, and some really surprising, colorful, and, and just very interesting and creative segues, breaks, and, and riff changes, which all kind of wind the tracks on this LP into some very unpredictable song structures. But this is definitely worth looking into if technical death metal is what you're after. However, in the case of this, you know, let's start with one of my biggest issues with this LP, and it is just the, the overall lack of, of just direct impact that this LP has. I just don't think the songs, the playing on this album is as fast, as abrasive, as winding. The overall energy is just not as savage. I feel like the Faceless take a lot of the exciting and, and interesting and progressive riffs that are usually in their music and trade them in. Trade them in for slower, moodier, more melodic guitar passages and a set of clean vocals that I can not stand. But the vocals are my real issue on this album. The melodies overall to me, just, just the, the less brutality that this album has to offer would be fine if, if I felt like that the more melodic parts weren't being delivered so that you could have these really campy vocals on top of them. It just starts right from the beginning with uh, three tracks which are kind of like a, a suite for the album. It is the autotheist movement. I'm impressed with how the band can write these multifaceted songs with a lot of detail. The somber piano and the strings that just start this LP off just sound like they could fit very properly into a cinematic funeral procession. But once those vocals kick in, my potential for loving this thing is just drained because to me it sounds like uh, a pretty run-of-the-mill radio metal vocal that you would usually hear soaring over the hook. And the way that sometimes they intertwine with the death growls, it just really leaves a bad taste in my ears. Introducing clean vocals into extreme metal doesn't necessarily equate to a bad thing in, in all cases. I just feel like in the case of Faceless, it's a move toward not experimentation, but, but the middle of the road. Now the second part of the autotheist movement is, is a little bit more like it. I like those tight drums and guitars just pushing out some really brutal, vicious melody and riffage. And I actually like the way the band starts incorporating keyboards and some symphonic sounds, just seeping them in slowly on the track. That, to me, is, is fleshing the sound out in, in a tasteful way. But once those clean vocals pop in, again, it just dies for me. And it kind of feels like something off of the last Opeth LP. The third part of the Autotheist movement sounds even more like the last Opeth LP, especially with the lead singer crooning very dramatically that God is dead. And things start sounding really tacky when this circus instrumentation starts popping in out of nowhere. It just kind of feels like something a, a much more sporadic band like Mr. Bungle or, or Phantomas would do with, with a much more interesting angle. At times, operatic vocals will, will sort of pop in on this moment of the album, which just totally screamed Devin Townsend to me. But on a less grandiose scale, making it kind of less impressive. After the third track, the faceless sort of starts getting back to the band that 
I know they can be. The clean vocals I don't care for are still there, but just not on the level that they were during that first third. The tight, very well played, and unforgiving guitars are back. I'm loving those melodies, despite the fact that this band is pretty extreme. They have a nice sense of melody at their fingertips. I'm loving the chord progression on the track Accelerated Evolution and the song after it too. The syncopated explosion of drums and distorted guitar chords and, and guitar leads on the closing track here is awesome as well. The melody especially reminds me of something off of that last Agaloc LP. I do think these guys have a nice ear for some interesting sounds as well, like when you hear the very metallic percussion on the introduction of the track 10 Billion Years. But still, whenever these guys take me out of brutal high, they just drop me down to the pits of, of just boredom and, and lack of interest when they lay on those ultra melodic moments that don't really have a lot of pomp to them and incorporate those vocals that just are really kind of nasally at some points, bland at some points. They didn't want to put out the same record again, you know, but I'm just not sure if this was the way to flesh things out, to grow things, to, I guess, build upon the model. I'm very, very on the fence with this LP, unfortunately. I'm feeling a strong five on this, but if you've listened to it, and I know some of you out there have, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano, The Faceless, Autotheism forever.